Greetings, Dennis Daniels here. This is a demonstration of the of Termux on a Chromebook Asus 302 Flip. Uh, Linux is not supported as yet on this particular Chromebook, so buyers beware if you're looking for a Linux support. Asus 3C302 still does not have it. That being said, Termux does work. So let's go take a look at Termux. First, if you've not already installed Termux, then go take a look at it. Uh, <coughs> for the purpose of this demonstration, uh, I'll assume that you've installed Termux already. And some of the things that I've already installed on this, and I think it was important to make it easier, is I installed Fish. Uh, Fish is the friendly interactive shell. I use it quite a bit. Uh, and it will explain some of the bash stuff that you'll see coming up. And then you definitely need to have Termage, uh, Termux set up storage, um, having already run that so that you can access the files on your Chromebook. And finally, install Image Magic, which is what we're going to take a look at now. So just for giggles, Let's go over to Termux, and uh, I'm already in a I'm already in an image folder here. You can see it's on my Telegram folder, and let's go take a look at the Telegram directory right there. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six images, five images, and an MP4. Uh, so. With Image Magic, you can do some you can do some fun stuff. The first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to reduce the size of all of these images because for whatever reason we need them to be smaller. So to do that, uh, you can see I copied this uh, right from the the Magic site, Image Magic site. So I'm going to actually reduce all of my JPEGs by one half percent. Uh, so to reduce the image sizes, so let's go ahead and run that command. So control C and now we go to the Termux and if I press my finger on the touch keypad on the touch screen, I get my options, copy, paste, more, etc. So let's do that again, copy and then Let's see if it worked. Paste. Ah, right. I just copied something that was not there. Let's try that again. Control A, Control C, go back to Termux and paste. There we go. So with this command, let's zoom in. I'm pinching the screen to zoom in. With this command, I'm going to reduce all of the images by half. I hit enter. And you can see the file sizes here. Just for giggles, the, this number one up here is uh, 12, 12 uh, 120,000. So let's bring our screen back up and zoom in a little bit, make it easier for you to see. Clear, and now LS. And and you can see that the first image now has been reduced from 120,000 to 35,000, which is pretty small. And you can see it's already been, it's already affected the image over here. So it's now half size. That's useful. And now for fun, uh, let's go ahead and squish all of these images together. Now, what do you, what do I mean by that? I'm going to convert. This is another image magic command here. Convert. I'm going to convert all of these images, all these JPEGs, into a new JPEG, which effectively will bring all five of these images into one image. And I know it doesn't sound like it makes sense, much sense, but let's take a look at it and I'll show you what it does. So clear and control shift v does not work control alt v does work for copying and pasting so control alt v 
Control M, Control Alt V. will copy your clipboard into your Termux session. Okay, so control V and now let's hit enter and oh, that was really fast, right? It was, so let's LS and now arrow keying over in the fish shell again, if I arrow key over, It'll just complete this command for me. And now you'll see that I have a new new.jpg here. And let's go take a look at there's I have not figured out how to get Termux to launch an application to view an image. So we go back to our file manager and let's take a look here. So what has happened? You can see that all of the JPEGs have been put together. You can see the mountains there. You can see clouds there. And you can see that the image has been effectively squished together, which can be kind of fun. It might even be useful. <laughs> Uh, depending on what you're what you're trying to do, we can probably do the same thing using the same command. And I'm not going to use. Uh, let's actually clear this so you can see my screen clear. And now let's use just one of those JPEGs, and we'll say combine. Two, four, six, two, and let's do another one. Uh, I am G. Let's see what's the other one we have in there? One. Okay, and now we'll create a new new JPEG. So I'm just combining those two JPEGs. Let's see what happens. Okay, and ls arrow key over, and theoretically, yes, we have a new, new, new. And let's take a look at it and what it looks like. New, new, new. And there it is. So uh, you can see that could be that could be kind of handy if you've got some image processing that you need to do and getting a bunch of pictures squished together. All right, thanks for watching. And uh, again, this is Termux on a Chromebook. And you need to uh, install Image Magic in order to do a lot of this stuff. Make sure that you get the Termux setup storage before you start this. And here are some of the commands. I want to thank you for your time and happy computing.